Hi guys, welcome to everybody. Being at home doesn't mean to have a dull time. So I wanted to show you what to do when you're at home and you're getting a little bit bored and you cannot move obviously, but you want to eat something which is a snack maybe or also a full dinner, but with a little bit of a twist of fun for your kids, for your family. It's very easy. Whatever you see here, I'm gonna use products that you can find uh, in our grocery, in our market, or wherever else, obviously. So, let's start. First of all, you have to have uh, your focaccina, if it's possible, if you find them. If you do not have this, you can anyway do it with any kind of bread, which is a baguette, or the small breads that we bake in our bakery. The last chance you have, and which is the one I strongly advise you to use, is also the real focaccia. And uh, this is called uh, Spianata Romana because it comes from the tradition in Lazio. Let's start with, uh, with one focaccia and you have to cut it. The point is that the texture is incredibly important. So you should try to add in every focaccia, in every panino you make, a little bit of crunchiness on one side and then soft inside. And then a difference in temperature. So the bread should be warm and crunchy, but the ingredients inside should be all quite fresh and cold and so I'm gonna now put this uh, focaccina in the oven for at 180 degrees for possibly two minutes not more. While I'm preparing for the focaccina to get warm I show you how to use which kind of ingredients you have to use and how to use them. As I was telling you we are gonna use something you can find in any market. In particular if you want good quality one you should try to find prosciutto crudo possibly of Parma or prosciutto di San Daniele, which are two amazing DOP products of Italy. So you take approximately, well, we are at home and we are not very, very happy in this moment, so we should take at least 40 grams, approximately three, four slides of uh, Parma ham, ready to go. Then we take a little bit of uh, cottage cheese. Now we have a partner working with us, a wonderful farm called Riverford, and they are delivering, and you can find their wonderful products in our markets now. So you take a little bit of the cottage cheese from Riverford. And then, as you can see, you open a pate olive paste. This is a uh, handmade, uh, um, wonderful producer in Italy, you should try, this is uh, Don Antonio, and it's made with uh, Lecino black olives, which come from Puglia. And as soon as you open it, you immediately perceive and, see, and, and scent the land, um, the olives from Puglia, from this amazing region we have in Italy. You take a little bit of this, and then you work it a little bit, you mix it, and you make it into a paste. You should really send this. This is an amazing uh, reminder of what the soil, the region, the earth can give us. We shouldn't forget this. This is, guys, big fun. I'm gonna now try to get the focaccina. Hopefully it's warm already. So now the focaccina is warm. As you can see, and you, I don't know if you can hear the noise, it's crunchy. This is a point where the focaccini is amazing and good. And then now at this stage, we add our cottage cheese with black olives paste. We now add a little bit of this amazing parma ham. Put it very lightly, don't put it in big slices. And at this stage, what I would highly advise is to put a little bit of tenderness and in this case, I would use this uh, Pomodori Secchi. Again, super easy to use and super fun. And this is the kind of focaccina I'm in love with. I cannot avoid this, sorry guys. Mm. And this is just amazing. This is life. I got my friends here who don't believe me. But you want to try and taste it? Because uh, all my friends will gonna challenge me with my focaccino. Yeah. You wanna try one with the green olives? Let's try one with the green olives. Nice 
bacio grino le protee to keep the focaccia moist ne usciamo di salame again 5 to 6 slices I would say and as Andrea was saying very 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 thin Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's try this one, Andre. Uh -huh. Oh, this man. Let me try if yours is better than mine. This is really good. Because you can feel the sweetness of the Parma ham. With the stinginess of this provolone, which is a little bit uh, pure than aged, and then the softness uh, and the roundness of the green olives pate. The focaccia is actually made by our bakers here in Mercato freshly every morning, and it gives a different flavor to everything, obviously. Mamma mia, fantastic! This is really good.